You know, so today we're going to start a new uh, adventure. Uh, we're going to go to Cooper Canyon Ruins, is what they're called, and uh, actually right across from Pueblo Canyon. And in fact, yesterday we could see from the trail through our monocular, we could see that the dwellings way over in these cliffs. So we're excited to go there today, and uh, there's a, some, uh, some more buildings there that we read about, so we're going to see what we're going to find, right? Yep. So let's start today's adventure. Come along, everybody. <laughs> That's a hot fire. So we're putting out the fire for today, right? Hot cold. For yeah. today's adventure. This is a training video. Put out all fires. So here we are starting down the trail, right? Yep. So we've been walking along the creek bed here and we're getting closer to our destination. Right up there in those cliffs are the uh, Indian cliff dwellings. That's our destination. We got some bear scat uh -huh. on the trail. The trail is fresh. We oh, saw yeah. the same thing yesterday in the other canyon. Got some berries in there. So we've gotten to Cooper Creek that runs up uh, to the front of the uh, ruins. It's dry. No real clear designation or trails at this point, although we did find this stack of rocks. It's like a little trail up here. We're going to follow it. There's Pueblo Canyon where we were yesterday. And right next to it is uh, Devil's uh, Chasm. Another Indian ruins up there. We're not going to do it this trip, though. Okay, everybody. Basically, we're lost. Uh, at least we've been lost for the last quarter mile as the trail petered out. So we just kind of been roughing it and bushwhacking on our own through the cat's claw and stuff. And so uh, we do feel like we got to it, though. Up here on this pinnacle, that's got to definitely be a man-made stone structure. It's about six feet tall. Looks like about maybe seven or eight feet tall, five by five. And uh, so what a lookout point. where the, the main cliff room is, so we're going to try to find it, but there's no path. We're barely getting game trails, so we'll see how it goes. So here we are. We're across from that little knoll with some stacked stone on it, kind of stumbling around, just bushwhacking, and Kel found this uh, cave right here, and so it's kind of curious. We put we took some pictures in there, and it looks like it goes. We might try to crawl in there and see what's in there. 
Right in the bottom. They said that there was that rock you, on the left a little bit in there. Okay. Let me uh, turn the light on down here. Sounds good. Make sure there's something to see, Kel. If a dead end's right here, it's not worth coming in. Sure. Oh, looks like a dead end. Well, look around. It might be some artifacts. Like a bat or something here. Yeah, I figured it'd be a bat. Yeah. See okay. anything on the floor? Any he's markers? flying around. He's not going to get me, though, right? No, he's going to avoid you. Yeah, yeah. I'll take some pictures. Uh huh. In here. Yeah, nothing really going on. No water dripping. There's like. Yeah, it's a nice lights. little room. Yeah, I mean, I would think that they would. Ouch, if they wanted to hide something. I'll get you room to come out. They would. That would have been a nice spine. Yeah. Okay, hold on. No. Ouch. Nothing in there. <laughs> it's a groundhog day. <laughs> yeah. It, it goes in about 10 feet and kind of stops. There's a bat in there flying around. That's about it. Pretty cool though. Nice. Yeah, nice. Look who crawled out of the hole today. <laughs> How do I get out of here? <laughs> Takes me back to my spelunking days. There we go. Just came around the corner. We can see the doorway or whatever that is up there where the ruins are. Finally, we found it. It is up there. So I'm trying to figure out how to get up to that one there. I think this is the route. Climbing up through there. Careful, this isn't really solid. Not all this solid rock. Here, so we can go through here. Yeah, just got up here, fell in the main room. Wow, what do we got over here? I think that's just another squared off wall. Oh, I see, yeah, less room to feed or something. What's interesting is the beams, yeah, the holes are really well preserved. Beams are totally gone. I think they were used, taken for something else. Huh. I mean, they're not, not rotted on the floor. Yeah. At least some trace. Hmm. To me, it's like water down in packet. So you're not having dust all the time. You never know. Huh. So 
So yeah, you can see the finger prints. That looks like a thumb and like a left hand right there. Small child, I can't even fit my hand in it. Yeah, there's scoops in the mud left from 800 years ago, a thousand years, who knows. He's living here. You can't see living here? I could see somebody make it and making it ceremonious or something, or a retreat. Yeah. But like, like oh, I'm thirsty. Yeah, let me run out and get you some water from a mile and a thousand feet below, mile away. <laughs> I'm hungry. Uh. I'll get you some. So it goes up to a second story up there from the back side? Yeah. Wow. Here's some of the See, it's over here. Wow. I got a roof over my head inside this dwelling. What's back here? Storage. Anything in there? I don't see anything. Oh, that's a wall right there they built. These matates were used to grind corn and some other things. And what's unique too about this is you got pottery with painting on it. And you had the corn. Wow, that's amazing. Just taking a look at the roof or the ceiling of this thing. Still intact after 800 years. It's incredible. So let's see if we can get a shot of what the roof looks like up here. Okay, let's go in here then. Oh, wow. Yeah, is that bamboo? It's bamboo. Where are you at? You in here? Mm -hmm. Can you see the mud? Thick mud. Still stuck to it. Yeah. It collapsed. What's up above us? Oh, why did that so, go? In more recent times, look like Gary stacked that in, but those beams were trying another. So what's back behind here? It looks like a what a granary. A, a what? Yeah, oh, that's another covered so, Wow, it's just a big room. It had a roof on it at one time. Oh. Wow, amazing. Another room here? Yeah, it's another chamber. Oh, wow. Cool. It's all handmade wall right in here inside this cave. Wow. So 
so on the top of there, what do we find up there, Phil? Very, you know, the, those openings at the top, you get right, those same rock. really sh triangular rocks, just like we saw in the ruins across the canyon. From Pueblo Canyon, same yeah. kind of rock formations. Yeah, same kind of build. Or, or uh, decoration or whatever it is. Yeah. There's that matate just sitting out there. That's interesting. Sitting outside here. That's a big one too. Look how deep they wore that thing. Wow. Well, just made it back up to the quads from uh, Cooper Canyon ruins. Man, that was a butt kicker, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, it's Charles. Poorly, poorly marked. And we, we, you know, so we had to make our own, and it was just bushwhacking the whole way. And came down that rock field on the way here, oh, way yeah. down the hill. The rocks so yeah. close. And then we had to go down to the creek and back up to the quads. Yeah. That's oh, man. All right. Heading back Good to camp. Good trip, though. Yeah, beautiful.